Wow, they're crowding her. Oh, now that's the being. Feeling threatened or upset. Cute little faces. <gasps> I didn't even really know that was possible. Time for me to have a look at some more of your submissions of how your pets respond to harp music because harp music changes the atmosphere even with animals. I tried to video our bunny with the harp but didn't work out. She stomped. That's the sound of them feeling threatened or upset. So my harp playing must be pretty horrible. <laughs> Or she doesn't have good taste. <laughs> oh, this is a lovely collage of photos. What cute little faces. I love this one in the bottom corner here with the like little pleading eyes. Oh, very photogenic. Wow. They're like harp models. If you wanted a really luxurious harp photo shoot, you have to hire Kim's Kim's animals, Kim's dogs. He loved the harp and would sit by it and bark if he wanted me to play. Wow, that's a good way to make sure you practice when your dog won't stop barking until you do. <laughs> Our new pup, Sal, is not quite ready. <laughs> the only time she ever sits in this room is when I'm playing my harp. Oh, she is living the life. That is one lucky pup. Poseidon enriches my harp playing by showing such unconditional love. That is really cute. I like how he just rests his head on your knee enjoying the music and non-judgmental. I think she thought this harp was going to be for her. I kept having to drag her off the box. <laughs> I know how much cats love boxes, so if they love the harp, maybe a harp box is like the ultimate box of all boxes. <laughs> when she knows I'm heading towards the harp, she gets there ahead of me. Huh, and there she is on my harp bench as if this is something we are going to do together. My cat, Tansy has sat on the harp bench before. I think she just wanted to look beautiful for a photo. I don't think she really cared about the harp music. The eyes and the ears. Little tail. Oh, that wag. Oh, it's so cute. She's noticing that music and she's supporting you with a lot of enthusiasm through that tail wag. Cuddles the cat was 27 when she came to live out her last years with me. 20. 27. I didn't even really know that was possible. She would sit on my knee while I was playing and if I stopped she would gently tap my cheek as if to say keep going. <laughs> Last year at the great old age of nearly 33 she reached her final days and was no longer able to walk. It was time to call the vet. We spent her last hour with her on my knee while I played the harp. Oh three of them enjoying it. That's so cute. Such gentle dogs. Oh, that's it. I was just waiting for the next beat to come. <laughs> she always sits right here and watches me play. This time she was wearing one of the shoes I usually use when playing to change the pedals. <laughs> it was so cute. She looks like quite a character. Laura says, sadly we no longer have them anymore so I can't send a video, but several years ago we had some ducks and geese that we raised from hatchings. At the time I was learning green sleeves and would practice just that song for hours. Anyway, I guess the baby ducks and geese found it comforting because once we let them outside, you could go outside and hum or whistle green sleeves and they would all come and gather around you and fall asleep. <laughs> Only for green sleeves. <laughs> wow, so that means that the animals even recognize one song over the others. I'm tempted to do a, an experiment. Maybe we should get a baby chicken and see if we can <laughs> get a similar reaction. That is so cool. Thanks for telling us your story, Laura. These horses are taken from racing and given a nurturing home. Their owner said in 20 years of working with horses, she had never seen this type of response before. It's definitely looking. The ears Can facing forwards. Oh, coming closer. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh. oh, look at him. Oh my God. What's that, Bruce? I love you. Oh, it's actually nice seeing the seeing Deborah's response oh, to the horse's so response because she's so touched. Oh. Wow, they're crowding her. 
So this is quite a long video and it's so beautiful to see the reaction. So we're gonna put a link down in the description box where you can watch the whole of this amazing horse video from Deborah. I would also be over the moon and just so amazed if anybody reacted to my harp music like that. <laughs> Basically our goats were curious, then bored, then one of them peed, lol, enjoy. <laughs> Kayla, I love your description. That's hilarious. Oh, that one's getting quite close. You should watch those teeth because I think goats eat a lot of different things. <laughs> Here's the board part. All just kind of like chewing and walking away. Oh, oh, now it's the peeing. <laughs> He's crouching. Some people get a bit nervous to pee when people are listening, so maybe he, got, he finally got relaxed enough from the harp music. <laughs> oh, there she is laughing at the end. That's great. Here is my pet, Richie. Unfortunately, he never reacts to my harp playing, nor anything, because he's a stuffed toy. <laughs> I didn't notice at first. Oh my goodness, he looks so real. I just thought it was, you know, like it's a kind of blurry photo, so I was just like very happily thinking he was a real dog. You got me, Peggy. <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is my new, one of my new favorite types of videos to make, so please send me more and click here to watch the last one and you can click here to watch me playing my harp for pets and seeing how they react and maybe we'll do more of these. See you next time.